two men suspected of killing Ugandan athlete Benjamin Kiplagat have been remanded for 21 days to allow police complete investigations. The two were arraigned just a day after their arrest in connection with the murder. And as Lois Ongo reports, the prosecution plans to charge the duo with murder once investigations are concluded. The two suspects, David Ekai Lokere and Peter Oshoro Kalumi, talked to the doc after the prosecution named them as prime suspects in the murder of the late Benjamin Kiplagat. Investigating officer Ignacio Mwaniki sought the court's permission to hold the two suspects as he proceeds to gather more evidence on the matter. He sought to hold them for 21 days. That the respondents be held in custody. The investigating officer presented the suspects in court under a miscellaneous application but mentioned that after he will prefer murder charges against them after concluding investigations. In the three weeks period, the police say they would do a post-mortem on the body of the late athlete and present its crucial exhibits to the government chemist for further analysis. The police say the period would also allow them proper time to present CCTV footage capturing the last moments of the late Benjamin Kiplegat to cybercrime for certification and production. Further, the police investigations will see them run the history of the vehicle ownership on a Toyota Hilux KBU-507Y in which Benjamin Kiplagat was murdered, as well as the ownership of a motorcycle captured trailing the deceased's vehicle on the day he was murdered. Necessary information from the Uganda Embassy. The investigative officer on this matter, Ignacio Mwaniki, says they will be taking their investigations to Uganda to dig more information on the life and times of the late Benjamin Kiplagat. I therefore play this honorable court to issue a order to allow me to detain the suspect at the Eridonet police station to help me to complete the investigation. We have a very on the uh, part, uh, the defense team, uh, through their lawyer, Judge Sonkale, pleaded for their release while investigations are underway, arguing that they are first-time offenders and that it is their constitutional right to be considered innocent until proven guilty. We have a very robust and uh, meticulous bill of rights. Principal Magistrate Cherono Kese granted the police a request to hold the duo for 21 days. My decision is hinged upon Articles 243 all through to 245 of the Constitution. Further, I take careful consideration of the fact that the general welfare of the public is disturbed by the death of the deceased in this matter. It is in the best interest of justice that uh, I allow the application by the prosecution to hold the suspect for 21 days. The family of the slain athlete Benjamin Kiplagat expressed confidence with the investigations hitherto. We are so very, very, very proud about police. So now tunaenda kukaa chini as a family na tufanya plan sasa ya kumpumzisha our brother. Luis Ongoy, NTV Eldoret.